Good morning, everyone. Character Ed here, wishing everyone a very happy and healthy Friday, May 22nd. To start off this video, I would like to apologize for last week. Maybe last week I didn't feel genuine, and maybe it's just my opinion. Um, last week I was going through some family stuff. It was a little difficult. This week I am doing much better. I have heard from my older brother. He was going through some stuff. Um, so much better this week. And that's actually my good news. I have heard from my older brother and he sounds like he's doing way better than he was. Um, I can't give any details right now, but things are looking up right now. Besides that news about my brother, two of my favorite series are now on Netflix. They were, I watched them when I was in high school. And one of them is called Parasite the Maxim. It's about a teenager named Sinichi who gets a parasite stuck in his hand and then he's got to save the world. And besides that, there's also Avatar The Last Airbender, which was a phenomenal story. They cover pretty much everything. There are so many themes, so many plot lines, so much character development. And it really, they both tell great stories. And now we're jumping into student news. Justin, I got from Miss Ventura a drawing that he did. Miss Ventura asked him to draw anything that makes him happy, and he drew Benway and Mrs. Bourne. Next, we've got Robert. He says, the good news is that when this is all over, he's going to go back outside and practice. And next, we got a piece from Davion. He sent in a picture of him reading his new favorite book that he got from his grandmother. And I'm pretty sure it's a Spider-Man book. I saw a little piece of his hand on the back cover. He's my favorite. And next was a piece from PK that I received from Miss Ventura, and they faced off in an epic life or life battle, except it was not in the game of life. It was Pictionary, and we have a picture of what PK drew. And it is confirmed that PK has the skills to pay the bills, both with a Z, because it's cool. And congratulations on the victory, PK. And now let's get into staff news. First up, we have Coach R who says, as the weeks have gone by, more and more elementary and middle school students are participating in fitness fund and other PE home instruction activities. I wanna say a big congratulations, Coach R. I know this is really difficult to get students in on, and I wanna say great job. And next up, we have Mrs. Alves who sent in a clip of some of her butterflies. Can you count how many of them have made it through metamorphosis? Please let us know. And Ms. Ventura would like to send a shout out for Coach R, Mr. Anthony, and Donnie for the awesome gym classes they've been doing. And another shout out for Mr. Anthony for going above and beyond with the students. Ms. Borsi shared two pieces with us this week. First, she's been singing in a choir and they asked everyone to record their parts for a song so that their tech guru can piece it all together. She, took, she sent in a picture of 15 out of 25 takes she did to get singing her part right. She's an alto, and I definitely know that struggle. It's difficult to take good takes and not mess up a line or say something right, but then when you get to the end of the clip and you mess up a can and you got to scrap it and start over, I will do my best to include bad takes. I'll probably edit this part out, actually. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Character Ed here, wishing you all a very happy and healthy Friday. Um, May 22nd? Yes. Friday, May 22nd. Thank you so much, everyone, that shared something with, uh, with us today. Next, Miss Borsi also has been growing celery, lettuce, onions, and potatoes in her garden. I love potatoes. And last but not least, Mr. Schwartz sent in a Kahoot update. First place for last week was Mr. Matt. Second place was Oliver. Third place was PK. Fourth place, Mrs. Alves. And fifth place, Miss Morganti. Who will win this week? 
Before I forget, I would like to give a huge shout out and special thank you to Mr. Warren for having his Google Meets in the morning so we can see our class in the morning. It doesn't always work the best, but we get to catch up and see how each other is doing, and that really means a lot. I would like to give an extra special thank you and shout out to Mr. Matt. Thank you for putting up with me, and thank you for editing everything together. It really does help out a lot. Thank you so very much. There is one more huge piece of news, and it comes from Kanye. During the quarantine, Kanye looks forward to helping us cook as a family and donating to essential workers weekly who are facing COVID-19 on the front lines. This helps keep his mind off the fears that COVID-19 may bring as a child. In spreading positivity, we created a GoFundMe called KS Our Voice is Heard. As a seven-year-old child facing challenges, he wanted his voice heard in giving back to the community. Uh, they did include a bunch of pictures, and it is so inspiring. Great job, Kanye. I'm sure we are all so proud of you. Thank you so much for what you're doing. A huge thank you to everyone that shared something with us this week. It really does mean a lot. I hope that everyone has a very happy and healthy weekend. And... Yes.